Hello folks, this is Mike with Charitable Computing once again, and today I am going to start a video series that shows how I, I create my custom Windows 10 operating systems. Now this is a long process and there will be multiple parts in this, but this should give you all the tools that you need to actually start on uh, your own custom Windows 10 operating systems. Currently, my Windows 10 versions run under one gigabyte of RAM and usually use about maybe 3% CPU usage. And that's even on Celerons. So, I've designed them to work on older systems and they actually are quite good. Um, you know, Windows 10 is one of my favorite operating systems uh, that's come out. So, it's actually much more, much lighter than Windows 7 and you can still do the same process with Windows 7 if you like or even Windows 8 or 8.1 but I'm going to focus on Windows 10 because um, the others are being phased out so in this video series uh, I'm going to first show you all of the software that you have to download I'll provide links for it in the description uh, a quick rundown of it. You need the Microsoft Media Creation Tool. Now that's going to be on the uh, Microsoft Windows site, so you'll know it's you're getting a genuine copy of Windows 10. Uh, you're also going to be using a program called NT Lite, and it's going to be just a free version. All the software is actually free for you. Uh, you don't need to pay for it, the pro version. All the the functionality that you need is available from the free version. Uh, you also need a program called ESD to WIM Converter, which is um, again available free online. Uh, a program called Set ACL, and we will be embedding that into the System32 file, so that way you can set file permissions. Uh, another program that I use is called ISO Mount, that allows you to um, take ISO images and uh, open them up just in a virtual drive so you can copy and paste it into a new folder. And finally we're going to be using a program called DERPS15. Now uh, that stands for Driver uh, Pack Solutions um, 15. Even though they do have a new version 17 out, um, I don't really recommend that uh, because it's it just has way too much bloatware on it. But uh, the, the DERP 15 is um, what we used to use at um, my old IT job. All right. So what, first off, we're um, going to be going, going through how to set up the hardware for doing this, setting up the software for doing this. Then I'm going to show you how to download the Windows image, convert the ESD file to a WIM file, setting up post-install instructions, then um, how to mount the image, changing permissions on all of the files, removing unnecessary packages, um, mounting the registry, and, re and making registry changes offline, then um, how to unmount the registry, remove unneeded files, and then replace them with links that you can create yourself. And finally, we're going to do unmount the image and go through the beta testing of this. So, that's our plan, and I will show you some of the hardware that you need right now. Okay, folks, so this here is my sandbox, or my beta tester. Really, all it is is an HP tower that I have converted. It is uh, an i3 with 16 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM and a small SSD in it, uh, about 160 gigabytes. It's not meant for anything other than installing operating systems. So this is what I do all of my beta testing on. It's not meant to be powerful, but it's meant to be fast because I want to make sure that the, the operating systems install correctly and there is no room for error on it because I'll be going to be using these operating systems sometimes six, seven, eight times a day. So Now this here is my main workhorse. So this is actually an overclocked i7 
and it is um, running at 4.7 gigahertz with 16 gig of RAM in it. It has two SSDs in it. Uh, the second SSD is a small, just 32 gigabyte uh, SSD drive that's in there, and I use that as my test drive. That this is going to be a separate drive that I use just for creating the the operating systems, and it's just big enough to actually load the operating systems on there and do everything I need to do to them before I unmount it and and you know do it because it takes a lot of processing power you can do it on smaller machines but some of the stuff that I'm going to be going over with will take much longer on uh, um, smaller machines and as you can see I have that's hooked up to these two monitors right here so for a lot of it we are going to be going there's my test drive that's up right now. So this is a separate hard drive that I have just for for the installations and even though I could record it on there as a screen capture I'm going to be recording most of it just like this because as I said it does take a lot of computing power. Well folks this is just a brief introduction so I'm going to be going over each step in detail in each part of this video series. And this, I'm going to show you as much as I possibly can to actually help you learn how I do this. It usually takes me about two weeks of beta testing for each new operating system that comes out. Right now, we are currently on the Creators Edition of Windows 10 and I have that already done but I'm going to redo the process with you you know so that way you can learn as I do it so I look forward to hearing back from you and to uh, to hopefully teaching you something that you didn't know before All right, you have a great day yeah.